in this video we are looking at how to set up this countertop time attendance terminal so we will go straight away and press the menu button here select user by pressing ok we will select add user these are the user details we are expected to enter into the system for each user as you can see these are quite a number of details required for each user and so we would rather use a computer to quickly enter these details to make it much more easier so let's go back by pressing on the escape button here so what we'll do is to connect or put in the usb drive into this machine so we'll move to the report menu press ok to open this menu what we want to do is to download attendance setting report so i'll move to this one select it by pressing ok so the attendance setting report on which we will enter the users by using a computer is now being downloaded to my usb drive the download is successful so i'll press ok and exit all this so i will remove my usb drive i'll put it into my computer on the computer i'll open the usb drive we are now in the usb drive and this is the downloaded file from the attendance device let's open it up all right so this is where we will enter each user's details each user is expected to be given an id number so let's give our first user 100 as his id number so we'll put the 100 here under id let's name this user ben let's say he is in the sales department so i'll type under department sales if you have cards assigned to each person you can enter the card numbers here other than that you can leave the card number section blank let's add a second user so under id i'll give the second user 200 and name this user sam let's say sam is in the engineering department so i'll put in here eng we are not entering card numbers so i'll leave the card number blank so i'll just go ahead and click on save at the top here when you come down to attendance setting on the attendance settings tab here this is a table that gives you the opportunity to input the exact time that each person is expected to start work and when they are expected to close as well so this is where you need to modify to suit your your shift or your your times that your workers are supposed to be at work and also leave work let's take for instance a group is supposed to start work at 7 a.m you will have to input the 0700 at this point let's say they are supposed to close at 5 p.m so i will enter 17 zero zero you can do for a second shift as well if you have a second shift in place even if there is an overtime period you can input the time here when you are done inputting all this based on your attendance timings you can just click on the save button here at the top and then you can close the program as well i'll put the usb flash drive back into the attendance terminal we will go to the menu move to report select report what we want to do is to upload what we have done on the flash drive back onto the attendance terminal so we'll come down to the upload attendance setting report we'll select it 
it is uploading the table. It is done successfully. So let's go back to the user menu. This time we will go to user management because we have already added users through the computer. You can see the two users that we have added that are listed here. Let's see how we can edit the records of the user called Ben. So I'll press OK to edit the records of the user called Ben. You can see all the records we entered for this user. What we have to add using this machine is the fingerprint, the password, as well as the user privilege that we need to assign to this user. So let's look at the fingerprint. So I'll place my finger on the fingerprint scanner. It has registered. I'll do a second scan. It has also registered. And then a third scan. That is also successful as well. That means that the fingerprint has been successfully added. So let's go down to the password. Press OK. So I'll input a preferred pin. Confirm it. Press OK. Under user privilege, you can either make a user an administrator or just a user. When you are done with all these, you can just press OK to confirm and exit. So let me try and register my attendance. And I will do that through my fingerprint, which I registered against my name, Ben. I will place my finger. You can see my ID number 100 shown, my name Ben, and it has also indicated that I have been verified. Let me try another input. I've been verified again. Let's try and download the report that will show the two inputs I just made. So I'll press menu. It is requiring administrator login. So I'll enter my ID number because I've made myself an administrator. Now enter password. I'll move to reports. Open reports. Press OK to download attendance report. It's processing. Here you have to specify the duration of the report you wish to download. That is the, the date duration. When you are done, you can just press OK to download the report. It is now downloading to my USB drive. It is done. So I can exit all this. So I'll take my USB drive and put into my computer. I'll open the USB drive. Here is the downloaded report, so I'll open it up. So this is an attendance record report. At the top here is the report date. You can see here that for the user Ben, there is an attendance record for the date 9th, that is 9th of the month, which are the two times I clocked my finger on the machine. And so this is just one of many reports that are generated as a result of the attendance. There, there are other reports that you can see at the tab below here which are also reports related to attendance. You can refer to them and see how they apply to your organization. Let me have your views, comments and questions on this video. Thank you so much for watching. See you in the next video.